welcome lovely people to my tutorial for today i trust we are all doing very very well okay thank you for subscribing and if you are yet to subscribe please just feel free to subscribe by tapping on the subscribe button and also the notification bell the bell enables you to get information whenever i upload okay so to the business of today today we are going to be making a dress but the concentration is on the upper part not the lower part all right so i'll just take my time to cut the up the lower part without showing it but the concentration like i said is on the upper part okay it is a highly requested video i mean the upper part okay so i have here three yards of this ankara fabric we're going to be using it to do justice to that style i also have this lace fabric this is one yard we're going to be using this one for the upper part okay and then this one for the lower part and the peplum as well so quickly we'll just get started so here is for the upper part i cut it out using my half length which is 15 inches i added one and a half inches extra for seam allowance and then this way i use the bust measurement so i have more than enough to cover for the upper part this is for the back bodies by the way i'll just take my shoulder measurement 14 inches this is for shoulder slope three inches here one here you connect my armhole measurement is seven inches Bust is 37 into 4 is 9.25. 9 and quarter. And then 2 inches for sewing allowance. And my waist, I'm working it is 33 inches. 24 also is 8 and quarter. 8 and quarter. I'll be adding three inches, one for that, and then two for sewing allowance. I have one and a half inches here as my zipper allowance. This is for my armhole curve. Okay. Now for the neck width, I will use my three inches here. And the neck depth, remember this is the back, I'll use 2 inches. So 3 inches neck width, 2 inches neck depth for the back. Okay. So now go over to the front, which is the princess bust here. So I'm starting my measurement from here. This is my half length. Shoulder is 14 inches. This is 3 inches for shoulder slope here. 1 inch here. Okay. Then I'll measure 2 and a half inches this time around. Okay. Shoulder to bust measurement is 10 and a half inches. Plus half an inch, 11 inches. 3 inches below my shoulder to bust is my under bust. That's 14 inches. And then 3 inches upward also. 8 inches. Nipple to nipple measurement is 7. I'll be using 4 inches. 4 Seven, that is when unfold is supposed to be three and a half, but I'm using four inches. I'm marking four inches. Then I'll connect. Okay. For the neck width, for the neck depth for the front, I'll use four inches. For the back, we used three inches neck width, so I'll maintain the same three inches okay. 
Okay, so for the back, I'll just fold my fabric into two. Like I always say, towards the bust area, you make sure you have up to three inches. And you place your center front. First, you mark out the shape. And then trace the notch points. Okay. And then I'll place my bust measurement. My armhole is seven inches. Bust is 37 into four is nine and quarter. Nine and quarter, which is here. Showing allowance of two inches. Waist is 33 into four is eight and quarter sewing allowance of two and a half inches now since my bust is not up to 40 inches there is no point using three inches here at the center notch okay so i'm going to be using two and a half inches or even two and quarter so that by the time you, you join this center front and the center sides, the bust area will not be clumsy, okay? The bust will just fit perfectly in it, okay? So I'm using two and quarter here. I'll connect to the under bust and then to this point. Okay. okay, so we now have the front cut out and also the back. We move over to the peplum. So for the peplum, we are going to be using the triangular method. You just pick one end. Fold it as I have just done. It should give you this shape. Okay. Then you fold again. And then you measure your radius from this point down. Okay. Now, to the waist measurement I'm working with, I'll be adding extra 12 inches because I want to put plates at the front side. Okay. So, 33 plus 12 will give us 45, okay? Divided by 6.28 will give us 7.2, okay? But I'll just measure 7.5. So, I'll measure it as my radius round here. Instead of 7.2, I'm making it 7.5. Okay. and then the length is nine inches that's the length of my peplum nine inches okay the next thing will be to now cut also at the lower end of our peplum i'll move in by two inches and then i'll connect it to the waist line this way this is to allow it to relax people keep asking me why i do this so that the back side the zip area does not fold when you add your zip this way it helps you to relax very very well okay so now having done that we have something like this this is the midpoint i gave it a little much Initially, it was this way, okay, but here is the midpoint, so I made a little notch here, okay. I wanted to get the center so that I can cut half of it as well for the second peplum, because for the second one, since my fabric won't do, it won't be going round the back. It's going to be only at the front side, okay. 
so here is the second one I just cut like half of the first peplum and it is now shorter I hope you see this is the second one and you can see it is just one okay but this one is double I hope you understand it assuming I had enough fabric I will cut it all round this way but since I don't have enough fabric that's why I did it this way so that this split and this second one will just be just appear at the front all right so before we now cut the upper part the neck area of the bodies I will cut out the wooden, wooden and the lining and line them appropriate okay so I've lined the back this is the front I've also joined it but yet to line it okay and then remember we are using this fabric for the upper part this fabric and also for the sleeve as well okay so the next thing I'm doing is to remove some part of the upper part where we're going to be replacing with this lace fabric And I'll be removing about six and a half inches. Okay. So that by the time I'm done sewing, it should be seven that I ended up removing. Okay. I'll be using this to cut this fabric that is for the upper part so I want to use this pattern for the neck okay I'll try to see how I can work with that. So I'm trying to see how this pattern will fit into the neckline. That's just the math I'm trying to do here. As you can see, I left a few inches. This is for the sewing allowance. So this is what we have. All right. I'll just carefully notch the midpoint so that it will correspond with the midpoint of this fabric. Okay. Okay, so we are replacing this one with this lace fabric. I've notched the midpoint of my fabric and also of the lace fabric okay so first i will go ahead and join this one okay making sure that the notch is placed together against each other like this i will join this upper part but before then since i already cut out the lining for the front i'll need to cut it as well so that it will correspond with uh, fabric 
Now, if you are doing that, you should leave enough allowance so that your lining is not shortened. Okay, so I will now join this one to this one. This one is no longer useful to us. Right, with the joining done, I will now line the upper part. I will work this way. I will also notch the midpoint of the lining. So I will attach my lining like this. I hope you see what I'm doing. Okay, I will sew this way and across to the other side and then the two sides. Okay, so I've done the lining. As you can see it, I will then use my bias to tape the neckline and then I will join the back panel at the shoulder. Okay, at the two shoulders. That's when I tape the neckline i will then join the back and the front together at the shoulder all right so i've done that as you can see the neckline is now set but by the time i'm true i will try to see if i'll still get this trimming so i can place it at the neckline just to add more beauty to me that is if i am able to get the trimming all right, so this is how I'm going to be treating that crossing that came around here to the other side. First, I will determine the bust measurement. The one I'm working with is 37 inches divided into two is 18.5. 18.5. And then I'll also consider the round sleeve, okay? The round sleeve I'm working with is 11 inches divided into to give us 8 point, sorry, 5.5. So you now add the 5.5 to the 18.5. And then you get 24 inches, okay? So now I'm going to measure 24 inches this way. This is 24 inches here. This is 24 inches here. I'll add, say, like 2 inches extra for allowance okay and then i'll draw my line i think it's something like this Okay, so this is just for the front. Okay, we we'll still have to divide the, this front into two to get one part of the back because this is not crossing towards the other side of the back. Okay, it is just around one part of the back. Okay, so now this is for the front. Okay, so now we have the front. This is the front. And the back is going to be half of this. Okay? We are not covering the two back pieces. This is what I'm trying to explain. This is for the front. Which is coming this way. Okay? Now, the back is going to be half. We are not covering this side of the back. So, it is starting from here. I hope you get that. It's starting from just this side of the back, okay? So, we will now use half of this and then include allowance for the zipper, okay? I hope you get that. So, I will add... Half one and a half inches to this 
to the measurement I get from here. That would be for the back. But then it is this side. Though. It's going to be like this. So I'm adding one and a half inches here. And then I will cut this place out. Okay, so this is it. You see, I folded the front just to get the half. The half of it. Okay, and I added this for the zipper allowance. Okay. So I'm cutting now. The lining and line this one the back and the front for this front I'm lining here here I will leave here open the same thing with this one I will line here here I'll leave here open so that by the time I join here we will now knitting it up Okay, so this is it well lined. I'll also need to iron it so that to straighten out very well. But before then, I will have to join this one at the two sides. Okay, but I will leave few inches at this armhole area where this is going to pass through. Okay, I will leave few inches for that, and then I will join the remaining sides. I'll also attach the peplum at the lower part. That's after I've done the joining, I'll attach the peplum. And then we'll be left with just the sleeve and this crossing. Okay. Okay. So now I've done the joining. I joined the shutter one separately. Like I said, it wasn't starting from the back. It was just for the front. And then the second one, you can see the please i did not join them at once i joined this one first and then i joined this one on top i hope you get that so that the pleats will be separate that's just the intention if you join it separately the pleat is going to be separate and the effect will be felt more okay so the next thing i will do will be to attach the sleeve all right, so on the side that is going to have this pointed downwards, on the sleeve that is going to have this pointed downwards, I'll be attaching the short sleeve. And then on the other one, I will attach the long sleeve. This is just our basic sleeve. Okay. So after attaching, this should be the la last thing to be done before the zip will now come in. So I'll go to the machine now and attach the sleeves. Okay, so the sleeves has been attached. The next thing will be to join this one this way. And then take it down. Okay, that was the reason for the small opening at this side while we were joining the two sides okay you take it down if you like you can sew alongside it if you like you can just tack it okay whichever one looks neater for you you do it and then also through the back you do the same thing okay so first i will iron this before we right, attach so it. i've given it a good press i hope you see it so we just proceed to make our attachment. Remember how we got this length? My bust measurement divided into two. That is this front and I added seam allowance to it. That is from here. This way. My bust measurement divided into two. Then I added few inches for seam allowance. Then the back is half 
of my bust measurement for the back okay so it is safe to say that what we have here is three over four of our bust measurement this is half and this is quarter i hope it's clear enough okay and then for this place in order to get the one that crossed here i divided my round sleeve by two my round sleeve is 11 inches i divided it into two and i got 5.5 .5. then i added it to this place i hope you still remember all right so now attach this one And first of all, use pin to hold it to make sure that I get exactly what I want. Okay, this is for the side. I've attached it. And then the one that cuts across the sleeve, I will attach here. You see, it is slacking, but by the time my client wears it, it will fit appropriately. Okay. For now, since there is no bust here, it looks as if it is slacking. But by the time my client wears it, it will fit properly. So I made sure that the joining here corresponds with the shoulder, the joining and the shoulder. Okay. Okay. And then for the back. So I'll also use my pin to hold my zipper allowance. Let's see how the thing fits properly at the front. Okay, so I used pin to hold the back. You see how the back is? And this is the front. So the next thing I'll do will be to join this side, join this zipper side. And also attach my zipper I will also join this shoulder part also and then we are done with our tutorial then later on not in this tutorial I'm going to be trimming off some of these patterns on this lace material to put around the neckline okay all right so I've attached the zipper I hope you see the back and this is the front like i said when the person wears it it is supposed to fit properly but then again there is room for adjustment okay thank you for watching till the end to the person that asked for this tutorial i hope you now get it properly sorry it came late even though i asked don't send me requests while i am still resting but it kept on coming if you are yet to subscribe, please help us and subscribe and also give us your thumbs up if this tutorial has been helpful to you in any way. Also, don't forget to show kindness to people around you, okay? Be happy always and let no one intimidate you in any way. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Take care of yourself and bye.